and I, I'm like, now how many people's mind did I just warp? Like, like now, now what do you think of it? Yeah, that moment where like, ah. The same thing, uh, before everyone went to work and before Heisenberg was Heisenberg, it was it was Walt and the family in the morning, right before everyone's off and doing their thing. I was never really a, a breakfast person. I'm still really not a, a breakfast guy. I, I eat breakfast between the hours of like 1 and 4 a.m. I mean, that's like I think the only time I really eat breakfast. <laughs> I was, uh, I was there that day when, uh, when Giancarlo uh, Gus Fring um, slit the guy's throat, and I, that was amazing. And I, I also, I was there on some of the most grueling days when, when Walt killed uh, Jane, and that was definitely very, uh, something uh, traumatic to watch, and it was, it was rough, and I never really, I've seen the first episode of every season and the last episode of the last season, and that's, I'm, and I'm happy with that. I, uh, I'm not a big fan of, of hearing myself speak or seeing myself on, on the, the television. I, I'm not, I don't like to watch my work at all. I sound like that? Ugh. I don't, I don't like it. I just, it's like nails on the chalkboard. There's a lot of things I, I would personally want to change and do, but it happened the way it happened and I can't change it, so I'm not going to watch it. <laughs> I would want Walt Jr. to come back as a badass, like a... Like, necessarily not a, a bad guy, but just harder than what you saw. And now I'm, I'm fairly sure he has trust issues. <laughs> I had this really big bag, and it was for eating. It was for people to, to eat. And every time I would break it out to show people, everyone would just dig their hands in it. And they'd be like, oh, take a photo of me. And they'd be holding it like this. And they'd be like, okay, and they'd dump it all back in the bag. And after, and, and like, after about... One day I, I brought it out and a bunch of people did that and it was the first time anyone ever uh, ever did that and I was like, you know, we 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 eat that, you know, you you it's now we now we can't have rock candy, you just ruined it for the whole class. <laughs> it's hard to convey that to a screen and it's hard to convey that to someone that doesn't quite understand. But the thing is, is we all have these invisible disabilities. I don't care who you are. I don't care where you come from. You have a disability whether you want to see it or not. People have these challenges, people have these fears and, and these doubts, and there's so many times where people need to overcome those and, and not be afraid to be what they're meant to be and be themselves. Sometimes the clothes are a little, a little interesting, but you have your, your boys and your girls that, that are very, um, uh, that Zoolander style, which, which I mean is, if it works for you, that's fine. It's my mom <laughs> making noise. Hi, mom. Uh, it's okay.